Hey everyone, this is Kyrie zero nine one hanging out with you today, and uh, thanks for checking back in. Let's see what we got on the agenda for today. I'd like to get a Nether portal built, and uh, I'd like to obviously go to the Nether and bring back some glowstone. Oh, in between episodes, let me tell you what I did. I cut down and replanted all of the MFR rubber that I had going. Did a great deal of exploring. But didn't really come across anything too crazy, except I did bring back some sugar cane, which I've already planted and replanted a couple of times, so it's got quite a bit of it. And I planted some cactus. Looks like the cactus is growing nicely. And look at this. You can see the sprinkler is doing its job here. You can see that all the tall grass growing up all crazy-like. Um, I'm also trying to switch from... Uh, from barley over to wheat for various reasons that we'll get into later. So you notice I don't have any more barley growing. Um, and I'm replanting all all this as wheat. Got some cactus going over here. Got the sprinkler just doing its thing, sprinkling. And uh, yeah, so that's where we stand right now. Anyway, the main reason I want to get to the nether is because I'd like to bring back some glowstone. But before we go to the nether, we need to make an alamite pick. Now, I'll tell you why we need to make an alamite pick. Because we're trying to get to mine some uh, a couple of ores that are only found in the nether called cobalt and ardite. Now, cobalt and ardite can only be mined by a, an alamite pick or better. Unfortunately, uh, no vanilla pick, including a diamond pick, can mine cobalt and ardite. So, let's see how we make alamite. Alamite is made with five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. So let's see if we can do that. I bet you we can. Two obsidian. We still got enough to make our nether portal. That's good. And what was the recipe again? I've already forgotten it. Five aluminum, two iron, right? So we'll put one, two, three, four, five aluminum. And we might actually need to do... It might double the aluminum. It might turn this five into ten. Oh, don't want to melt those yet. Well, maybe. Let's go ahead and melt those now. The obsidian takes a while to melt. So we'll melt the aluminum first, and I'll be right back with you once that's done. It's going pretty quick. All right, the aluminum is just about melted. And just as I thought, we ended up with 10 ingots. So we're going to do, we're going to double up our recipe here, I think, if we have enough obsidian for that. How many do you need to make a nether portal? You need 10, so we can do that. I guess we're going to make a lot of alamite right now. There. Alright, I'll be right back with you once everything here melts down, and we will check out what kind of fun we can have with alamite. Well, let me, do I even have the casts for this? I don't. I'm going to have to pour this alamite into ingots and remelt it, because I don't have a pickaxe head cast. So, I'll be right back with you. And just to go over something real quick, those of you with keen observations might notice that every time I log in, I seem to have the uh, the cheat stuff up here. And uh, that's not because I've been cheating on my single player world. That's because in between each episode, I do a lot of testing in my testing world before I come uh, do it on camera in the single player world. And obviously when I'm testing, I do have it in cheat mode. And then when I come log into my single single player world, I forget to turn cheat mode off before I start recording. I'll try to remember that because I know it probably looks weird because I'm playing a legit game, but for some reason I always seem to have that cheat menu open. But anyway, and I wish I would have been recording when I went out to the desert where I got the cactus from because I found one of those cool desert dungeons, the ones with the pressure plate at the bottom that blows up when you step on it. Uh, I didn't actually go in there and mess with it, so I don't know. I don't know what was in there and... Oh, it looks like our alamite is ready. We have six ingots of alamite and for some reason we have... Four ingots of obsidian. Not sure why. So we'll pour the alamite first. And as you can see, we end up with one alamite ingot here. So I'll meet you back in just a moment after I'm done pouring all this stuff out of the smeltery. So just a bit of a refresher here. If I place a stone pickaxe head that I made over here in the part builder, if I place that onto the casting table and I pour aluminum brass over it, we have some molten aluminum brass, pour that over it, we end up with a pickaxe head cast. We can do the same thing with the stone sword blade. We'll place that in the table. We will pour some aluminum brass over it and we get a sword blade cast. So I'm now gonna melt down 
two alamite ingots, I guess. And I'll just melt down one. I'll save the other ones in case I need them for something later. And we will put our pickaxe head cast right there. I'm going to go ahead and throw away the stone pieces I made here because I don't need them for anything. Put those in the trash can. And how long is this alamite going to take? Oh, look at that. All of my blocks have a heart on them. I did not know that. I like that, though. Anyways. All right, I'll be back with you once this alamite's done melting. All right, we got our alamite pickaxe head. Now we're going to use this iron tool rod. And I, well, you know what? We'll use a stone tool rod. I don't really need to waste an iron tool rod on something like this, because you'll see why. This is, this uh, pick is going to be very temporary. This is not going to be our permanent pick at all. So, we'll make our stone tool rod. We'll come over to the tool forge and we will put together this pick. By the way, you can name your tools. We'll name this one. We'll call it, uh... And eh, we'll call it alamite pick. Why not? That makes sense. We'll put a alamite pick with a couple of exclamation points after it to let them know we mean business. Alright, so... There it is. There's our alamite pick with the two exclamation points. I think we're ready to head to the nether now. So I'm going to build the nether portal off camera because that's something I'm sure you all know how to do. And I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, so what I did was I built a nether portal behind this door here. And I haven't lit it up yet, but you can see I put a cool amaranth plank uh, pressure plate there from uh, Natura. I always like to do stuff like that when I can. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Well, there's our nether portal. Um, I'm going to hop in, and hopefully there's not anything waiting to kill me on the other side. You know what? Before I do that, I'll be right back. I'm going to craft a couple things off camera, and then we'll jump in. Okay, so if we put together like this, we get an ink mixer. Some smooth stone, glass bottle, couple planks. Easy enough. We're only making one ink mixer. We don't need more than that. So then what we can do... Where should we put the ink mixer? You know what? Let's put it down here in this room with the... Put my lumber axe back so it auto-repairs itself. We'll just stick the ink mixer right there. Why the heck not? And let's take one of these other glass bottles. Fill them up with some water. We're going to grab some ink sacks. And if you put a, water, a bottle of water and an ink sack, you get an ink vial. Or two ink sacks. Rather. You get an ink vial. So, got some ink vials. Now let's get... Okay, let's get some leather. Need to go outside and get some of that sugar cane. And we'll do that. Because we need to make some paper. Okay, how much sugar cane did we get? That's enough. Alright, so. Here's what we can do. We put the sugar cane just like that and get some paper. And then we come over to the ink mixer. And if we put an ink vial up here, it'll drain one of the ink vials out and fill in this thing here. So let's put our paper up there, and it'll we can make a link panel. We'll grab one link panel. All right. So we take the link panel, and we put it with a leather, and we get an unlinked link book. This is added by Mistcraft. So let's go ahead and link this book to right here. Just hold it in your hand to right-click, and notice the book turns green. It is now a linking book. I'll show you what that's all about. Let's hop into our portal here. Hang on, let me get my stuff organized a little bit. Okay, got my food ready. Got us. Okay, we're gonna jump in the portal. We're gonna see where we land. Hopefully, it's somewhere good. But I really don't know what to expect. Let's find out. Alrighty, downloading terrain apparently. Okay. Okay, we get it. You're, you're downloading the terrain. Taking a while to do this. Okay, so. Here we are in the nether. Uh, I don't know what to make of this, this spawn here. It takes, feels like it's taking a while to gen the world around me here. So let's see what we can get here. And the pig man over there. Hey, look at that. Nether quartz. I'm going to grab some of that here. Uh, okay. 
You know, the tooltip up there says Nether Quartz is added by Minecraft, says it's a vanilla thing. I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me if that's true. I don't know if Nether Quartz is a vanilla thing. Um, and if so, I, what is it used for? What, did you, what would you do with Nether Quartz, you know, in vanilla? Alright, so I am going to wander around the Nether a bit. If I find anything interesting, I will uh, start recording and I'll show you. Alrighty, well, I found some glowstone. I went ahead and uh, bricked my way up here to get it, so here it is. Uh, we'll just break as much of this as we can, and we'll head down to the ground and collect it. Glowstone really shouldn't be anything new for most people, I would imagine. I think that most people know what glowstone's all about. Uh, so, yeah, I'll bust this up here, and I'll meet you on the ground, and we'll pick some up. Found some, uh, oh, found a fire bat. <laughs> Found some blood wood that's added by Natura. Let me get my lumber axe out, and we'll see if we can take it out with one shot. Hey, it looks like the lumber axe can't even touch it. Well, we'll grab a hatchet, and we'll chop it with some iron hatchet here. And we'll just get a few pieces, because I think blood wood's pretty cool looking. I don't want to get too much of it, because I don't really need it for anything, but it's just fun to build with, and it looks kind of neat, and we can make a cool looking door out of it, and some other stuff like that. Found some more glowstone. I'm going to grab that, and I'll be back with you once there's something to show you. Okay, so I was just clearing away this glowstone that we just saw a moment ago. Still doing that kind of. And I stumbled across some of this blue stuff. This is cobalt ore. It's one of those Tinker's Construct ores. And you need the alamite pick to mine it. Good thing that we have an alamite pick. There it is, cobalt ore. So, now that we got the cobalt... Let's see if we can find any Ardite. Hey, 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 look at, look at right here. Ardite ore. I did not know this was going to be here. I'm glad that it is, though. Again, you need an Alamite pick or better to mine it. You can't mine it even with a diamond pick. So, got some Cobalt, got some Ardite. It'd be nice to find one more piece of Cobalt, but, eh, well, probably won't happen. Um, I am going to grab some Netherrack, and if I see any more Cobalt or Ardite, I will show you. All right. Alrighty, found some Soul Sand. I'm going to grab some of that. I don't know how much of it I'm going to grab. I'm just going to grab until my shovel breaks. I also found some ghost wood. Ghost wood is pretty cool stuff. Uh, you can uh, build with it, and it makes some really cool looking things. You can grow it in the overworld, too. I think you can grow any of these nether trees in the overworld. But I'm going to collect some ghost wood saplings if I can get any here. And maybe I'll plant a ghost wood tree back at my base. All right, I'm going to grab some of this soul sand, and I'll be back with you. All right, found one of my favorite trees from the uh, the nature of trees here, and that is the dark wood tree. So let's grab some of this dark wood wood. Hopefully, I'll get a couple saplings, and we can grow some of this too because this makes some cool looking stuff. I'm gonna bust this up here and see what happens. All right, there are some saplings. It looks like my inventory's full. Well, I don't need flame string, and I got more sugar cane, so I guess I'll throw that stuff away. All right. Um, so, I will see you, well, you know what, I'm actually done in the nether. So, uh, it's, well, how much of that do I have? I got enough. It normally would be a pain because I really didn't keep track of where I was going. It would normally be very difficult to get back to my base. I like this lava lake, maybe I should waypoint it. Eh, it's kind of small. Alright, so what I'm going to do is eat some bread but instead of finding my way back to the nether portal I'm gonna use this linking book I brought with me now do you remember I linked it to that spot in the middle of my base well let's just I'm just looking real quick to make sure I'm not about to leave and leave something cool behind I don't think I am alright so ooh, sulfur cloud I'll grab no I won't it's right over lava there's some there is something cool that I didn't want to leave behind cobalt let me get my alamite pick real quick, and I'll mine this cobalt. Ooh, there's three of them. I like that. All right, so as soon as I mine this cobalt, I'm going to use that linking book to return, and it'll be a whole lot easier than any other method of returning. I'll grab this nether quartz real quick. Uh, oh, wait, I don't think I can. I think my inventory's too full. Do I have anything I can throw away? Why did I bring the glass with me? Throw away the cobble. Uh-oh. Alright, we're going to return now using the linking book. Just like that. Just open the book, and then you click on the little panel. 
and it brings you back. I'm still on fire, so I'm going to jump in the water. <laughs> there. Should have seen that coming. Don't know why I didn't. All right. Let's take a look at some of our cool spoils here first. We'll put away the stuff we don't need, like the glass, the netherrack, soul sand, more netherrack, uh, cobalt and ardite we'll put in the tinker's construct room because that's all that it's used for. Cobalt and ardite. All right, I'll be right back with you once I'm done sorting through all this junk, and we'll take a look at our and we'll be brought back. All right, so we're going to finish up the episode pretty quick here, but real quick I kind of want to show you what's up with these Naturist stuff, the Naturist stuff here. So we can make some dark wood planks, and look, when we make a dark wood crafting table, you get a cool-looking blue crafting table. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really need a crafting table, but that's just something you can do. Similarly, if you use blood wood, I actually will make this one. I'll just use it somewhere around my base. I don't know where yet. Let's make a door out of blood wood. Put a couple of planks and we get this fire resistant blood wood planks. And we make ourselves a blood wood door. Now how cool does this thing look? You know what? Why don't we put it as the door to our to the nether portal? We will break the existing door. There it is. And we'll place the blood wood door. That's pretty cool looking, huh? Okay, so there's that. And let's put the, this stuff back. So now that we have glowstone, redstone, and lapis, we are actually we're ready to uh, make ourselves a jetpack. Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough time to do it in this episode, and that's okay. But we have everything we need to get going on next episode. So hopefully, by the end of next episode, we will have a jetpack. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, real quick before I head out. You know what? We'll deal with Cobalt and Arda in the next episode, too. All right, thanks, guys. Okay.